My next patron question is from Sonia, who wants me to compare two animated films that take us under the sea and on land. Which is better, Luca or The Little Mermaid? Both movies are about a sea creature who is curious about life on land, is warned by their parents, stay away from the surface, takes on a human form, and forms relationships with humans. Both of these are delightful animated films, and I admire them greatly. The Little Mermaid is one of my favorite animated films, while Luca ranked as my number three animated movie of 2021. It's clear that The Little Mermaid is my pick between the two, but I want to talk about what each does really well with their primary goals. With The Little Mermaid, Ron Clements and John Musker wanted to bring back the classic Disney fairy tale with wonderful music, and they succeeded. The songs by Alan Menken and Howard Ashman have become iconic for good reason, with Under the Sea being my favorite. What also makes The Little Mermaid special is Ariel herself. She has become one of a number of Disney princesses who is criticized now for dropping everything for a prince, which completely ignores that she sang an entire song about how much she loves the human world and wants to participate in it before she even set her sights on the prince. I think she's a wonderful character, and while yes, she makes an irrational decision to sign a deal with an evil sea witch, you have to remember she's a teenager, and her father just had an outburst and destroyed a lot of things that were important to her. King Trion goes through his own arc, where he realizes that he has not been the best father to Ariel, and he let his own prejudices and fears get in the way of talking to and understanding his daughter. Encanto has gotten a lot of discussion over how it talks about toxic family dynamics and the pressures put on a younger generation, but I feel The Little Mermaid also deserves to be analyzed in how it explores this. The animation in The Little Mermaid is another key ingredient, and quite revolutionary in many regards. Gene Siskel pointed out in his own rave review of the film the incredible amount of work that must have gone to placing in all the bubbles and making sure the fish and mermaids feel alive when they swim. Glenn Keane put so much character into Ariel and animating her, and it's a remarkable piece of acting. I think The Little Mermaid has earned its place as an animation classic, and Ariel's journey is wonderfully explored as she goes from the water to the land and finds a new world to be enchanted by. Watching Luca a second time recently made me appreciate even more the finer details of that movie and what Enrico Casarosa wanted to do. On my initial viewing, while I really liked the first act with Luca living on water and meeting Alberto, I felt the movie really took off once they got to the town of Porto Rosso. However, watching it again, I appreciated those early scenes a lot more. The little community we see shows how the sea creatures and humans are not too different in how they work and raise their families. I do find Luca's mother being scared of the humans does have some justification, as we learn how they view sea creatures. Even if wanting Luca to go to the deep is extreme, she's not nearly as cruel as Trident is to Ariel. The whole notion of sea creatures turning into humans when they're dry is super inventive, and I love how it's depicted in the animation. It leads some great visual jokes. The friendship formed between Luca and Alberto is nicely done, and the early scenes gather an example of the great casual low-stakes approach the film takes. It's so refreshing to see an animated movie like this, where the world is not at stake. It's just about these young lads who want a Vespa with the main conflict coming from a local bully. And even the bully is clearly shown early on to be more of a pompous nuisance rather than some brute force. The voice acting from Jacob Tremblay and Jack Dylan Grazer also works in showing the bond between Luca and Alberto, although there's something about Grazer's performance that reminds me a lot of Jason Marsden, who is most known as the voice of Max in a goofy movie, among other boyish roles. Luca's arc is nicely done, and I like how the movie shows him initially scared of the surface and then becoming curious and eventually falling in love with the dry land and the many things it has to offer. The message is also explored with plenty of nuance. While there will be those who sadly discriminate against Luca, there are others who will be supportive and accept him. I mostly like that Luca is interested in being a charming story, while one of the most exciting events just involves winning a race. I think both of these films, along with Hayao Miyazaki's Ponyo, share a nice kinship in depicting an underwater being being amazed by this new place they visit. Now let me know in the comments whether you prefer The Little Mermaid or Luca, and thank you for your question, Sonia.